Hey guys, it's Shannon. I want to uh, talk to you really quickly about my shower gel routine. This is a continuation of my Hoarders Anonymous, Collectors Anonymous series. Um, this hopefully will be a brief conversation. Uh, I have to hurry up and run. So um, I didn't even get the shower gels out of the shower because they're in my shower and, you know, bottles and showers just aren't pretty. <laughs> They've been in a shower for a while, so um, I just didn't get them out, but I'll tell you what I'm using. So I do use a fancy day, lazy day routine right now with my shower gels. Um, I have two that I have in the shower right now, and I use them every other day. So I use my older one on my lazy day and my newer one on my fancy day. My older one is the Victoria's Secret Garden. Um, it's the Wildberry Bouquet. This is the matching um, body splash. And that is my lazy one. Um, basically what happened was I had, what, well, what happened is I had just um, finished up or was just about to finish up the shower gel that I was using at the time. And um, my fancy day shower gel that I'm using right now, I had just gone out and, and purchased that. But I think I still had a little bit of my older one left, so I hadn't started using it just yet. And that's why I'm going back and forth between the two. Because this one, um, it belonged to a family member of mine, and they did not like the scent. And so they just asked me if I, uh, if I wanted it. And so I said, okay, sure, I'll try it. And so they gave me what they had. Um, and I think I used up the lotion quickly. Like, they had used a lot more of the lotion than anything else. And so I used that up kind of in a separate, you know, with my lotion routine. So what I do is, I told you guys before, that um, I only use shower gels in my in my evening showers. I take two showers a day. I use shower gels in the evening. And um, I use soap to clean my important body parts that need you know, special attention, and then I use shower gel to exfoliate with a loose loofah or, you know, a sponge of some sort. So, um, I only use them in the evening, and that is why I use, um, baby oil in the evening so that it doesn't clash with the scent of my shower gel, shower gel because I like to go to, to bed with that, you know, nice scent on my skin. And so, um, basically what I do is on my lazy day, I use this one, um, because since it was already kind of used, oh, you know, some of the products were a little bit used, I went ahead and put them in my shower and started using them as my lazy day, which is the one that I need to use up first. And then the other one that I bought, which I haven't told you guys yet, um, the one that I had bought to replace my original, whatever it was that I had, is the St. Ives uh, exfoliating apricot body wash and it's kind of a uh, orangey peach colored bottle if you happen to go to the store and look for it and um, so that's my fancy day one and then that one I don't have you know a body splash or anything with it and that's okay because it's it's scented enough that it lasts on my skin for what I need it for you know when I'm going to bed when I go to bed I just want to smell you know smell nice but I don't need an overpowering scent um, when I wear this one I do give myself a couple you know a couple squirts all over just for the sake of using this uh, I probably will have some of this left over when the shower gel is gone so sorry for the shaking my cat is here rubbing against my computer <laughs> um, so I probably will have some of this left over by the time the shower gel is gone and so I'll use this you know just like you would a perfume um, at some point to to finish up the bottle. Um, so I think that's it and I actually think for the most part that is it for my fancy day lazy day. Um, the actual videos where I'm going to show you you know what I'm what I'm using. Some things I want to mention are um, bubble bath. I only usually take would take a bubble bath um, you know on the two days a week that I have in my shower routine, you remember that I have two lazy days a week, and that's Wednesday and Sunday. Um, so in the evening, I might take a shower or a, a, a bath on those days. So I have one bubble bath. It's an Avon um, 
honey and vitamin E, I think. I don't, they don't make that one anymore. And that's the one I've been using. I don't, I don't keep multiple ones of those, you know, open. I just use one and then use another one. So I have that and I would only do that twice a week tops probably. Um, toothpaste, I'm probably going to do a review on my toothpaste, but my tooth care routine, um, I just open a toothpaste and use it till it's gone. And then if I want to try something different, I'll try something different. My toothbrush and that kind of thing, the toothbrush, I, um, most of the reports I've seen say that you should um, change your toothbrush at least every three to four months. And so basically what I do is when the seasons change, that's my reminder that if I haven't already changed to a new toothbrush that I need to. And so just that's kind of how I remember. If I wear one out before, you know, the, the season changes, then I just, <laughs> you know, I get a new one. Um, but if for some reason I haven't changed it yet, you know, the seasons change. I mean, our, our year is divided into four seasons, so that would be four months. <laughs> so by the time four months have passed, you really need a new one. Um, so there isn't really a fancy day lazy day routine with that. You know, I mean, flossing and swish and that kind of thing. You know, I buy a product and I use it until it's gone and then I buy a new one. Um, facials and mud masks and peels and that sort of thing. Uh, I don't buy a ton of those. If if I'm buying them, it's usually the one-time deals where you maybe get one or two uses out of it and throw it away. You know, sometimes you can buy a peel or an exfoliant, you know, in a bottle that will last you a long time. And if I'm going to do those, I usually do them. Same thing as my bubble baths. Um, it's on my, the same days that are the lazy days for my showers, it would be Wednesday and Sunday that I would do that. It's, it's not very healthy to exfoliate all the time, you know, to your face. Your face can get, you know, raw and sensitive and it can cause breakouts. So I don't do it usually more than twice a week. And that would be the same time if I was using some kind of a brush, um, to exfoliate or if I, I don't own a Clarisonic. I have something that's similar to a Clarisonic, um, sort of, <laughs> that has, you know, it has the pads that kind of scrub or the brush that, you know, brushes the dead skin away, that kind of thing. Um, so I do have one of those contraptions. If I'm going to use something like that, it's only going to be twice a week on Wednesday and, or, and Sunday and or Sunday. Um, so I really think that's it as far as products go. Nail polish. Um, nail polish you're going to have a collection of nail polish because you're going to have different colors and that's okay. What you need to do to control yourself is don't have 40 nail polishes if you don't paint your nails all the time. First of all, and if you rarely ever paint your nails, then you don't need nail polish. <laughs> um, so if it's something you only do every now and then, uh, or maybe only in the summer, you know, you shouldn't have more than probably five bottles and just, you know, use them up and keep, keep a small collection that has within that small collection has a decent range of colors, you know, one or two dark ones, one or two light ones, and something kind of in the middle or something kind of an interesting color. Um, but don't keep a ton. If you paint your nails all the time, my rec recommendation with that is make sure you're not buying two colors that are exactly the same uh, ever. And what I would do is figure out how you're going to display your polishes. Um, you know, a, a really good way is to get maybe a little serving tray or a little platter that's, you know, you don't need anything that's much bigger than, you know, one square foot. Um, keep it a reasonable, you know, like a plate, a, a pretty dinner plate or something. Could be like a charger would be a nice way to display them. Um, some kind of a candle tray would be a nice way to display them. So pick something that has enough size for, you know, a nice collection but that is not unreasonably large. And then um, they should look nice on that display or in it, whatever it may be. Um, don't have bottles turning sideways. Don't be stacking them on top of each other. Line them up very nicely. Make it look nice and that's it. If it's full, it's full. You don't buy anymore. And then, you know, when you use up some colors, you can buy something new. So it's really that simple. Just use common sense when it comes to nail polish. Okay, so I still need to do a video talking to you about um, kind of focusing on my 
um, my friends and subscribers that are in the business, makeup artists, girls working makeup counters, girls that do direct sales, um, all of you guys, I need to have a conversation with you directly, so I'm going to do that in probably the next video. Um, I, I think I have two videos left, so it'll be one or the other. And then I need to do one more video where I want to talk to you guys about how you can actually make money as you spend money trying new things. So um, it's kind of a challenge to you on how, how to shop. Uh, it's restrictions to put on yourself when you're shopping to make sure that when you're buying you're um, being really smart about it. Okay, so I think I probably have two videos left. Don't hold me to that specifically. We'll see how it goes. But um, we're about done with the series and uh, then hopefully I'll start to see how you guys are implementing it or um, I will be able to really answer questions for you, you know, based on what collection you already have to start with uh, and what suits your needs. Your lifestyle may not be exactly like mine, which is fine. We can still, you know, I can still help you to come up with a routine that will work for your specific needs, um, but will keep you being responsible and uh, not being wasteful with your money or your makeup. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Have a good week. Bye.